Julian, welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint grapes in oil color. Enjoy! So we'll start with a basket. We're just doing this in acrylic so that it should dry fast. Put a layer of brown in a circle. And then we'll layer that with a mixture of brown and yellow on top. And a kind of wicker design. It doesn't really matter, it's just for the fun of it. Nobody wants their grapes sitting on the floor, so they gotta sit on something. Looks like a wheel at this point. And then we'll sort of weave around. So the idea of how I make these grapes is that the base, the underneath of them, as I'll show you soon, is where the color is, and on top I just use white. So I'm going to take a few different colors. It's not going to be just one plain color of grapes, it's going to be a sort of grapes in the middle of ripening turning from green to purplish red but the farther places are greener and the part the bunch of the part of the bunch that is closer to the vine is the more purple part so I'm going to mix together ultramarine blue and next to that some crimson and permanent red and afterwards sap green and permanent green and as you'll see those will be side by side and we're going to put that down so here we're almost finished our basket but before we do the, the grapes we're going to give our grapes a big leaf on the side so I'm going to use a fan brush for this and I dipped it, one side of the fan brush in green and one side in yellow ochre. And that's to give the idea of different spots on the leaf. That it's not just one color. If you dip your brush each side in a different color, you can get two colors on the canvas at the same time. Instead of using two different brushes or cleaning it in between, you just take a big brush and you dip one side in one color, one side in the other color, and in that way you put it onto the canvas at the same time. So here is a very large grape leaf, mostly because it's going to be a large bunch of grapes. And it's partially cut off because uh, the canvas ended. So, you get the main idea, but the pointy tip is not present. And we're just going to make the lines with an old paintbrush that the bristles are stuck together. So it works as a nice little scraping tool just to get those uh, lines, I'm not sure they are. Whatever this is, that's carrying the water into the leaf. So we'll just scratch that out. So here are the colors, like I explained. Blue turns like purplish. And we're going to put that on top, since that is the darkest part of the bunch of grapes. That's closest to the place where it grew. And we'll just put that down sort of randomly, leaving some spaces here and there. 
And as you can see, we, we're letting it make the colors mix together as we go down in the bunch. Not, not uh, perfectly uh, divided at all. It's blue mixed with purple mixed with red, red mixed with green. And that's the very end of the bunch, where the lightest green color is. And taking a smaller fan brush, so I I took some liquid, but you can take also uh, linseed oil, whichever one you have, and thin down that white paint until you're able to spread it easily, since white paint is very very thick, so you need it to be able to spread easily. And we're going to put it in on one side and sort of twirl it around from the center in a circle. I'm going clockwise, probably because I'm alrighty. And that will give you a nice highlight in the areas that you want, as you wherever you want the highlights to be, you can dip it into white again. And the grapes that you want to be a little darker, you can use the last vestiges of white paint, whatever is left on there from the other ones, you can put that on those. And since I'm not cleaning the brush in between, the color is being picked up from underneath, and it's mixing again very nicely. I just keep adding more white to the brush with more liquid, and keep making those circles to get the nice, round, shiny shape of the grapes. So this is a quick way to make a pretty bunch of grapes. It's not very complicated at all. If you want to, you can sit for a few hours and paint a bunch of grapes. But I think this is very nice. And if you come to the bottom and you prefer your bunch to be a little lighter, you can clean the brush and get a fresh coat of white. But I wanted the color to be showing at the top just the emphasis on the bright purple and red since those taste better anyway, usually. I mean, they're supposed to be sweeter since they ripened for longer. And you can also just add touches of highlight here and there with the white, whatever areas you think where the light is hitting off. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, hope this was helpful, and have a great day.